Santa, Merry Christmas, from Christmas Land, Pops, the automatic Jack and Pop Santa Pops, but he's missing his hat, so he looks kind of like he's been drinking. <laughs> he's cute. He's cute, old rings. Look at all these trinket boxes. Ooh, that's a good cat. He's cute. Long tail. Mm-hmm, jewel eyes. Real for cute. rings or mm -hmm. something? For your rings and things. What's she for? Made in Mexico? Is that his tongue? What's happening? It is! <laughs> That's hilarious. Vintage West German, unused and complete. How cool. Kind of cool. Crackle, which you can't tell till you like hold it up and look at it. Coleman with the box. I'd like to find him too. He's real cute. Rosy cheeks, good blue eyes. But this guy over here is the one. Which one? With his hip, hand on his hip. Is that what the neighbor has? Yeah. She hasn't, she doesn't care about him. She didn't put him out this year. Mm. He's smaller than that though, isn't he? Mm. Take it, Matt. Look how cute she is. It's like the ones you printed. But they must have an embroidery machine and picked that, those same. Mm -hmm. uh, pictures. How cute. At first I thought it was original, but no. Look how that says napkins on either side when you're looking at it. <laughs> It'd be covered up on either side. Right, if you had <laughs> napkins in it. It's got a Japan sticker. What is it? Oh, Yukago. Or, no, Yukago. Yukago. Looks like a space that man. That is kind of cool. It is cool. I almost bought it last time. $89. Mm -hmm. It's 15% it's off. Oh, that one's been redone. Where? See how this is like bright purple and this is like a mm -hmm. muted blue? That Somebody is repainted that. Bright purple? Mm -mm. No. This is original and that's they tried to redo it. Darn it. It's got a hole in the bottom. What would you put in there? Lipsticks? Oh, it could be. Do you see these? Pig pottery mugs. I turn them over thinking they're new. And look on the bottom. Made in Japan. 50s or 70s. What's blue? I don't think it's blue. That's the problem. Yeah, there's blue and they're red. From L.S. Ayers. He's what is plastic. it? I thought it was going to be ceramic and real heavy. It's a piggy bank. <laughs> They're a candle. What? That's so weird. Candle baby. <laughs> oh, this must be the same booth owner. $7 for the same bottle, but this one doesn't have a lid. Look how cute the uh, orangey color is in that can opener. Cute. Cute too, but it's wore, worn off. That's dangerous. That shelf is too wobbly. Hey guys, Heather here, and we went to a two day long um, highway yard sales. Um, it's about a couple towns over, maybe 20, 30 minutes away. And we spent half day Friday and all day Saturday rummaging. And so I just want to show you guys what I found. So for, let's just 
start with these cute canisters. They have plastic lids and the bottoms are metal. Um, the top looks like a basket, basket weave. They're Chineco. And it's funny because this part's metal and this part's plastic. Thick, heavy plastic. And so they seal really well. But I thought they had the coolest boho cottage core look. So there were two kind of half size ones and then two of the larger size. They don't stack inside each other. Um, they just four canisters and they sit, you know, together. It could stack on top of each other, but they're not super sturdy. Um, but I thought those were so cute. I've never seen anything like those. And I thought that was fascinating. I picked up an amber glass fairy light in perfect shape. Ooh, about dropped it, so it wasn't going to be in perfect shape anymore. I uh, picked up an aqua, I think this is an 024. 024. Um, it has some flea bites, but otherwise pretty pretty and the best color ever. Picked up a new inbox fondue pot with all the little stuff, um, all the little extras still intact. There is a fondue fork sticking out the bottom that just stabbed me. That's super nice. Uh, but that's it's a white pot and still new in the box never been used never been taken out got this adorable pink watering can with the cute little rose on the front picked up another piece of pyrex this is uh two four three four seven three i was way off uh four seven three i already have this one so this one will be listed in the shop friendship is one of my favorite patterns it is a pattern that i collect um and i don't come across it very often but I found that so I had to get it. Picked up this adorable, let me zip it so you can see it in all its glory. It is the cutest little boy's jacket. It's flannel lined and it's just so stinking cute. And I don't know if you can see the gumball machine embroidery on the front. It's so adorable. So got that cute thing. I don't do a lot with clothes because they are hard to photo and like get the measurements exactly right. but. That was too cute to pass up. Uh, I don't usually pick up bells, but she was in the box, uh, Southern Belle, and she's a little white and gold bell. Thought she would be cute if someone had a Victorian theme going on. Cute little wall hanging copper strawberries. I always pick up these sweet little weather owls when I see them. I thought this owl was cool. He's wooden. He's not, he's marked, but he doesn't say like where he was made. Um, but I thought he was really neat. His colors are cool and his shape is cool. So I picked him up at a rummage sale. I think I was, yeah, it was a, a rummage, not an estate sale. Um, I got this cool trivet that has all the grains in it. Picked up this satin glass pink uh, floral frog which was, I thought, pretty. I usually get find the clear ones. Um, so I was excited to find the pink satin glass. Let me scoot a little closer here so I can reach all my items. Um, I got a bag full whoa, of cute wooden Christmas ornaments. I always pick these up because sets of them always tend to sell for me. Um, just these, I think they're 80s, maybe even 90s, wooden ornaments a lot of these are really cute like this little train i don't know if you'll be able to see it um oh shoot this little train has a little candy cane and a little tiny tree right there in the back of the train so i thought that was super sweet and there's a couple other ones that have little tiny trees just like that and I thought those were super sweet. I always pick them up because I do think they're sweet and they're always different. Like I don't think I've ever come across a set that has the same ones in it, which is kind of interesting to me. And I, I picked up a box of Christmas stuff and it was just a whole box full and out of it, I only picked those wooden ornaments. And then I just thought these ceramic ornaments were neat. They're made in China, but I wanna say they're 80s or 90s. I just thought they were super neat because they're kind of flat. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different ones. I really liked the reindeer, especially. I thought he was real cute. Um, and there's like maybe 10 in that set. So I picked those out of that box full of stuff. And those were the only two sets that stayed. I donated the rest. Um, 
I don't usually do Halloween and you don't really find Halloween very often that is vintage and in decent shape. He, I think probably used to have more hair, but having this few little sprigs of hair um, kind of almost makes him creepier. So it's an old rubber mask, creepy old guy. And on the back, on his chin, it is marked, I think that says Caesar 1976. So I know he's from the seventies and he's just super cool warts and all <laughs> so i grabbed him grabbed these two little lampshades which i thought were super neat they're plastic have cute little metallic designs on top they just slip over um, a light bulb and they're just little plastic shades so i thought those were real sweet figured somebody with two little lamps could use those i got this adorable cream and sugar set um the sugar bowl is missing its spoon but I really liked the cute little it looks almost like a koala bear sitting on top there um it's marked uh I think this is a sticker for utco maybe u-c-t-o u-t-c-o I'm not sure it's faded so much so that I can't see it but it has the matching creamer as well but I just thought the little koala was cute you don't see a koala very often bunnies yes bears cats dogs even but hardly ever koalas so I thought they were cute picked up two of these little wooden banks with tiny little figurines on the top they have like a little section in the bottom that you can unlock and get your money out i always pick up these little tiny wooden houses with the little bitty plastic figurines on the front i love this one with the pretzel <laughs> it's just cute and the mushroom just it's adorable it's like an old lady it's hansel and gretel is the story obviously but still it's really sweet I'm not sure if this one is a story in itself it might be little red riding hood um because there's the wolf there but i'm not positive but either way they're super cute the one of them even has the key still they're not marked a year or a maker or a country which i thought was interesting i uh, picked up these salad tongs they're luster aware have the little paper still in the center of them and i thought that was super cool they were originally 29 cents um, guaranteed by good housekeeping so i thought that was cute the font on the top where the salad tongs part is just really gets me it's super cute um, exclusive one piece spring action design although there's no spring they're just plastic um, mix and serve with one hand no parts to assemble come apart or break rounded corners and non-porous surface assures easy cleaning and many other household uses which I don't know what those would be but they're cute and they're pink and they're made by Lustra wear so they came home with me I always pick up a flip Rolodex um, you can move the little thing up and down and then it it opens up to the letter of the last names that you want i always do pick those up <clears throat> pretty little apples chalkware i always pick up pie birds when i see them and i found two yesterday so we picked those babies up got this cute tape dispenser i almost didn't know what it was it was on a table full of all odds and ends and I thought what is that is it a bell at first and then I saw the tape coming out of it with the little tape terror so I thought that was really cute I haven't looked into how you replace the tape I'm thinking this little top unscrews and yep and the top just pops off and you put your new roll of tape on there so really really cute little doodad um all brass and it is felted on the bottom so I'm if there is a maker or a location i can't see it but isn't that the cutest thing it's just so little and cute and i've never seen anything like that i uh, picked up a brass vintage mustang belt buckle i always pick up uh tea bag holders when i find them and i found this cute little set of ceramic ones with cute little designs on there there's a set of four uh pie cruster probably 80s maybe 70s because I've seen these in the packaging before and they have more 70s looking packaging it could even be older I guess I don't know uh, I always pick up these cute nut dishes when I find them with a the squirrel on top um, I think they're really cute I've never seen one that has the lighter nut and the dark squirrel I've gotten that yellow one if you watch the video um, a couple of videos back but this one is was cute because the tan color I really liked and then the dark brown squirrel and it still has its made in Japan sticker on the bottom which I thought was neat and it fits in really well some of these the lids are kind of loose and wonky but this one doesn't really shift around a whole lot if it gets jostled which is nice 
uh, picked up a 1990s terracotta garlic baker. Um, it's new in the box, never been used, and you bake your garlic in it, and then you can just squeeze it out and use your garlic, already kind of warmed. Picked up this set of salad fingers, wooden salad fingers, um, in the original box. Got this Japan mustache mug, your father's mustache. Um, has a space so that the coffee or foam or whatever they're drinking doesn't get up on their stash. And it is marked Japan on the bottom. My mister always drinks from a mug like this because um, he has a big long beard and mustache and it is helpful. He drinks from it every day. So we thought it was cool that we found that. I got this beautiful carnival glass dish. Look at the reflection on that. And the backside is even prettier. Look how it just catches the light and totally sparkles. It's so pretty. The ruffled edge, just adorable. The big flowery starburst in the center. I just love that. I don't know um, really if it has loads of value. I mean, most carnival glass is kind of gone by the wayside a little bit, but I couldn't leave that behind with how beautiful it was. The day was sunny and it kept catching the sunlight in on the table that the little older man had um and so I couldn't leave it behind it was just so pretty and when I was photographing it even for Etsy it was just so sparkly it looks so pretty found a GE flip radio alarm clock and these tend to sell pretty well on eBay so we'll see how it does on Etsy <clears throat> uh, I got some pillowcases there's a set of two of these with the little man and the milkmaid. Also, there are two of these kitties with the pretty scalloped edging and little flowers. And finally, a lace edged set with little orange and green flowers embroidered on. I got this really sweet tea towel. It's so bright and vibrant. I thought that was just adorable with the dogs and the little cat and the bright orange and aqua and blue. And then it still has an original all pure linen Bellcrest prints made in Hong Kong sticker still stuck on there, which is amazing after all these years. Beautiful little Carol lights set in the box. I thought it was cute how they made a little window cut out just like you would have this in your window at Christmas time. Thought that was real sweet. Um, new in its original box also got a tree topper. My grandmom gave me a tree topper that was like this, um, the plastic like this with the angel hair in the middle, but hers was not electrified. Um, so we plug this in, it does work. It makes me nervous because the light bulb is in where this hair is, <laughs> the angel hair. So I don't know how safe that is, um, but apparently they thought it was back in the day. Either way, it's a really neat, pretty piece for Christmas in the original box um, and real pretty bright red with the little bells on the side. Just really sweet piece of Christmas history. Got this cool trivet um, that has little legs. So it keeps it up off your table, keeps your hot thing from sitting on the table, but it also keeps it warm. It, it plugs in and it is um, called a Thermflex trivet. So it was made in Angola, Indiana, which if you've watched any of our videos before, you know that's one of our favorite places to go. Not only because of the antique shops that are in that town, but because the best vegan restaurant, the Rooted Vegan, is in Angola. So I thought it was cool that we found this trivet in, it was like near Newcastle, Indiana, made in Angola, Indiana. But I thought the trivet was cool too because I, I see trivets all the time, I pick them up all the time, but never one that had a cord to keep your item hot. And then the last thing is a set of three in their original boxes. Um, they're Anchor Hawking glass, early American pre-cut, and they all match. These are little like ashtrays, a set of four in this box. And then this box says Anchor Hawking on the side and has five, oh, six coasters. Uh, pre, yeah, pre cut it says press cut coaster, six press cut coasters, and the number is on the edge, anchor hawking. So that's cool, and I love the patterning on the boxes. And then these have never been out of their packaging, and I'm not going to take them out. Um, but they're salt and pepper shakers, another fine anchor hawking product, and they match the cut glass of the coasters and the little ashtrays or whatever those are um, with the silver tops. So that was a cute little set to find, and. I think that that was actually it. So I 
we plan to go, there's another couple of weekend highway rummage sales coming up over the next few weeks and months through the summer. Um, so stay tuned because we'll be doing a lot of going and then I'll be doing a lot of showing you the stuff that I got. So if you have any questions about anything, feel free to reach out in the comments and um, take a look at Etsy if you're interested in buying anything. Obviously it'll be up listed there as I can get it listed through the next couple of days. Um, I think that's all for me for now. Take care.